Hey racers, John Race with you today back for another Hot Wheels case unboxing. Now we already have the F case is already in stock as you guys can see, which is very surprising. I was not expecting to see F case this early, but uh, here we are. So let's go ahead and unbox the case. Now this is a little strange. I know we've done two case unboxings in a row now. Don't worry, the case faces will be coming out for you soon. Don't worry, I just thought you guys would want to see the unboxing of the F case as soon as it came. So that is why I'm doing it as soon as possible. And then I'll do the case races for the next upcoming Wednesdays. So let's go ahead and let's start looking at the cars. First up we have Turbo Charged, Geo Terra, and the Wheelie Chair which are all very cool cards. I think Turbo Charge is new for this case. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put that aside for the case races. And the wheelie chair is also new, but Geoterra we have seen before. So there's that. I'm gonna change the camera angle because this is not working. All right, now let's continue the case unboxing. So next up we have the Range Rover Velar carbonator and the honda crx we saw the honda crx earlier in the cases but the carbonator i believe is new for this case and look at that it opens one or bottles so that is a pretty neat feature we'll set that aside there next up we got the audi rs5 coupe i believe and the runaway rescue i believe i believe is new for this case i could be wrong i actually don't think it is but it's a pretty cool looking red this is what I first noticed on that car, so that's pretty cool. We got a Nissan Silvia, I believe, and then a Land Rover Series 3 pickup. This is new for the case. It says Baja Blazers with the tan. Got number three on it. Another shout out to John Racer 3. Thank you, Hot Wheels. That is very cool. This is cool stuff there. Next up, we've got Tooligan. We've got the Mattel Dream Mobile, which is new for 2020. I love that. That looks so cool. Love the look of that thing. And then we have Loco Motorin, which is the Thomas and Friends car. This thing looks terrifying. I would be terrified if I saw that coming at me from a Hot Wheels track. It looks so aggressive. It's so, like, just mean looking. I can't believe it's a Thomas car, so that's a really funny looking car. I like that there. And hopefully it's quick. That'd be really funny. Next up got the custom Cadillac Fleetwood, another Mattel Mobile, and a Baja truck, all cars that you guys have seen before. We've got a 69 Chevelle, a Mustang 2x2 Fastback, and a Tesla Model 3. I believe the Tesla Model 3 is new for this case in silver. I could be wrong, but uh, there's that looking very, very shiny. Next up. We've got La Fasta, Fish and Chip, and then the Baja truck, all cars that you guys have seen before. Wow, literally nothing but duplicates in this case so far. Next up, we've got a Subaru Impreza. Uh, this, this, we've got a new Subaru. It's in red. It came out in blue earlier this year. We've got the main line for the Supra, the Mazda RX-7, and then we have Diaper Dragger, which are three new cars for the case. Next up... We got, we got Donut Drifter, another Tesla Model 3, and Isle Driver, all cars that you guys have seen before. Very cool looking cars there. Next up we got a 2005 Ford Mustang in green, which is the Hot Wheels Mustang that is new for this case. Very nice. I'm not a big fan of the green and yellow paint jobs, but uh, hey, it looks alright. And then Road Bandit and Runaway Rescue, you guys have seen before. Cool looking cars there. And we're already done with the first layer. We got Circle Trucker, which as you could, couldn't tell with the giant Circle Flame logo on the side. It is in fact the regular Treasure Hunt, which is a very cool looking car there. We've got Warp Speeder and then we got a Honda Monkey, which you guys have seen before, which is very cool stuff. I haven't got a regular Treasure Hunt in a while, I feel like. Let's go ahead and move on to the second layer. I interrupt this program to let you guys know about my Twitter account. Now, Twitter isn't something that I really advertise on this channel because I'm a little more mature on here. But if you guys want to be notified for about everything that I'm doing with Forza and Hot Wheels and everything of the sort, you can go ahead, click the description, follow me on Twitter, and I'll be doing some exclusive stuff for you guys following me on Twitter here. So thank you guys, and uh, now back to your scheduled video. All right. Next up we have High Tech Missile in orange, which I believe is new for the case. High Tech Missile is an extremely fast car and uh, looks very cool. The car art looks really cool with like the, 
camo just like over the wheels and stuff. That is a very neat looking car. And then Magrod and Aeropod you guys have already seen before. Next up we have a Clip Rod, Time Taxi, and the Dodge D100. The Dodge D100 is back again for another go at King of the Hill. This time it has some off-roading wheels. They're a lot thinner, so we'll see how the Dodge D100 actually does. But then we also have Clip Rod, which is actually, it looks like a money clip for your money. Hot Wheels did this a, a while ago with another one of the cars. I forgot what the name was. I think it was actually speed clip or something like that but there's another money clip car that it came out in the past but there is that another money clip car very cool next up we have the copo camaro in black which is new for the case we have a Grupo x24 in yellow which is new for the case i like the new color for the copo camaro very nice drag ready i believe the copo camaro has been fast in previous case races so we'll see how that does on the track Next up, we have the Volkswagen Baja Bug, which is a new for 2020 model. As you can see there, in white, thing looks like a beast. I don't know how well it'll go down the track, but that's very interesting looking. We have another Landover, and then we have an Indy 500 Oval in purple. I love the color paints on this thing, and I love the wheels that they chose for the Indy 500 Oval. Now, I know it's not really an Indy type wheel, but I still think it looks very cool, and I like it a lot. So, there's that. Next up. We've got Quick Bite, Chill Mill, and the Ford F1. Now, it, when it comes down to these cars, I have a hard time remembering what I unbox and what I haven't shown. I don't think I've seen Chill Mill before. That is new for this case in that green there. And I don't know if I've seen the Ford F1. I'll put it in the case, but if I made a mistake, then I'll take it out of the case race. Just so you guys know. Next up, we got a Ford F1. We got Circle Tracker with that Mattel paint scheme on it. I unboxed this last case, but it's still one of the best looking I think cars, a fantasy cars that Hot Wheels has made this year is very nice. And then we have El Viento, which I believe you guys have seen in a previous case. Next up, we've got the Golden Batmobile plus cars that you guys have seen before. I think the Golden Batmobile is new for this case. I'm sorry, I have a really hard time remembering what cars I've seen and what cars I haven't seen because I mix them up on what I've seen on Instagram. But uh, there's that. Next up, we got another 69 Chevelle Volkswagen Baja Bug. You guys have seen those cars before, but look at this beautiful Mazda RX-7 in blue. I love that. I love the, I love the color of this car. I love the Mazda RX-7 just like in general. So that's a very nice, very nice addition to my RX-7 collection. Next up, we have cars that you guys have all seen before: the CRX, the Range Rover Velar, and then the Chevy Impala right there and then we've got octane which is another rocket league car coming out in green i believe it came out in red earlier this year with that same paint on it so now i have four octane cards which is very very neat and then we also have a formula e car and an, another el viento the formula e car one of the coolest looking cars hobbies has come out with so far very nice stuff. We have cars you guys have seen before. The wheelie chair, the Formula E Gen 2 car, and the Audi RS5 Coupe. We have a lot of fast cars in this case. We've got the RS5 and we have the Dodge D100, which is very cool stuff. And then finally, we have Circle Tracker, Geotair, and then another Thomas car, which... Let's take another look at the Thomas car. That thing is... That thing is scary looking. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this thing, but uh, hopefully it's fast because that'd be really funny. Has a very large metal base, and it looks like you can actually clip stuff. You know, let me see if the camera can focus on it, but it looks like there's a clip on the back of the car that you can actually clip cars on. Perhaps Hot Wheels will make cars that you can actually attach to the Thomas car. But uh, yeah, I got a train car. I mean, that's, that's one of the highlights of the case for sure, but that is it. Again, no supers, no Hot Wheels ID chases, unfortunately, but we do have a lot of nice looking cars here, and uh, it was a pretty decent case. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, the case chases are going to be coming in the next two Wednesdays, so make sure you stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys then. Take it easy. Peace.